back to Gay by Gay. Hi. How's, how's everybody doing? How's everybody doing? How's everybody doing? <laughs> <laughs> so today we're talking about Jojo Siwa because we know that she came out a while ago. I'm singing today, apparently. You are. I'm just musical. I mean, I think you like musicals. I don't know if you are like an entire... Then again, maybe you are an entire musical. Yeah. I know that elevator music plays in your head whenever you're thinking. Oh, constantly. I hear it. That or Animal Crossing music, honestly. I, I'm surprised that... I think it's just the Wii music. The Wii music. <laughs> I just hear it like floating out of your ears sometimes. And I'm just yeah. like, what's that? Oh, no, it's, it's just, just Lee's brain. brain. It's fine. <laughs> what's left of it? I mean, the rest of it's been turned into like yeah. mashed up goo it that tra- just <laughs> randomly falls out everywhere. The Wii music travels through the goo. <laughs> <laughs> but... So, we first got exposed to JoJo Siwa back when she was on Abby's Ultimate Dance Competition, even before she was oh, on. Oh, yeah, yeah. I totally forgot that that was a thing for a minute, and then as soon as you said it, I, yeah. my brain was just like, hey, here's some memories, and I yeah. was like, whoa. When she was little itty-bitty and sassy, like, all when, the way back when. I was going to say, what was she, like, six? six? Seven? Uh, older, maybe. I think she was Seven. She was definitely mini-age, so, yeah, like, six so, to eight, yeah. somewhere in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was definitely young at the time, though, and yeah. I mean... Her biggest thing was that she always wanted to be famous. Her mom's yeah. biggest thing was that she wanted JoJo to be famous. Yeah. And then came her time on Dance Moms and yeah. everything. And I'll be honest, um, that pretty much sums up my knowledge yeah. of JoJo. Because I'll be honest, hate me if you will, um, I have never been a big fan of her. I did not mm-hmm. like her attitude for the most part. Yeah. And I know that that's kind of what endeared her towards a lot of people was her kind of... Uh, how do I phrase this? I guess unforgiving attitude. Yeah. Like she is purely herself. And while yeah. that's something I can admire her for, um, who she is as a person doesn't like that loud yeah. attitude doesn't necessarily sit well yeah. with me personally. Mm-hmm. And I mean, obviously when she got with Nickelodeon, like they really push her towards well, more younger kids. Yeah. So not my demographic. More, more, yeah, not mine either. More of the general like positivity kind of. Yeah, rainbows and sunshine, because that's who she was, right? It was the bows and the rainbows and the glitter and the sparkle, and that's great. It is great. I'm I'm glad that she can be herself. I'm glad that she's got an audience, (laughs) but I think the most important thing that we're here to talk about today Mm -hmm. is the fact that she came out. Now, um, I don't know that, again, I don't follow her on social media or anything. Did she come out as gay by, what did she come out as? I don't know. I don't think she came out as anything. She basically just said in her, one of the interviews was, um, I don't care if my person's a girl or a boy. Like, kind of like that. So maybe a little more bisexual leaning. Maybe. I, I don't I think don't know. she's specified yet. I do know that one of her, was it like her cousin, her mm-hmm. friend? I have no it was, idea. It was like Someone got her, her shirt saying that, like, best gay cousin oh, yeah. or something like yeah, that. Yeah, oh my lord. So, I, I mean. I love that. It, it is very clear that she is coming out into the community. Yeah. I mean, she, and, she, as of right now, does not have a moniker. She does not yeah. have a label. She does not have any yeah. anything. And that's fine. She's still young. Exactly. I like, don't necessarily I'll, think that you need to know exactly what you are to come out into the community. I think the community, in some ways, I think it's better to enter the community yeah. before you know what you are. Because once you're immersed, you have a better idea of where to go. You're mm-hmm. exposed to a lot more and you can figure stuff out instead of trying to figure it out on your own. Yeah. And then trying to run into the yeah. community and still maybe being confused about where you're supposed yeah. to fit in with everything. Because let's be real here, there are more than enough letters yeah. at this point yeah. to the LGBT yada, yada, yeah. yada that it – there's a million places yeah. to go within oh, yeah. the community. Um, so I think most people just enter going, I know I'm not straight. That's it. <laughs> and that's a great springboard where it's just like, don't know what I am, don't know where I'm going, yeah. but I know that I am definitely not this. No, not that. Not, not that. that. Not that. Uh, but yeah, she's only 17 right now. What a wonderful world we live in that a 17-year-old famous person feels safe enough to come out. Especially knowing that it was just a couple of generations ago, mm-hmm. and in some cases not even a couple of generations in some places, especially down in the United States yeah. or in some other places in the world, mm-hmm. it is still considered unsafe yeah. by a lot of the community to be out and proud mm-hmm. and everything else. So the fact that we have a famous person, and I, I know that, Overall, I've seen that she's gotten a lot of positivity yeah. back, but obviously there are people outside of the community that have made those horrible statements yeah. of, oh, my children used to look up to you. I'm not going to allow them to well, anymore. I have to applaud JoJo's bravery, yeah. knowing that she has this label with Nickelodeon. Yeah. 
knowing that she is very much pushed towards younger kids. And mm-hmm. this could have cost her everything yeah. if it had not gone yeah. the right way. I think I heard her say in an interview once that if she would have lost everything because of coming out, then that wasn't what she wanted anyways. Because if you're not going to support me for being me, are you really a fan? And, you know, she does have a good point, but I, yeah. I still think it's so scary it when you scary. have a plat- I mean, it's, it's terrifying. <laughs> I, I think it makes the average person yeah. nervous yeah. enough to try and come out. And, you know, even for someone like me, yeah. I mean, I've come out, but I haven't come out. Like, I've yeah. never had a big sort of like, woo, she's yeah. out of the closet. It's yeah. just more looking over at my mom and being like, you know, I really don't care about my, you know, if yeah. my partner's a boy or a girl. Yeah. Eh. Yeah. And mom just going, cool. cool. <laughs> so even then, like, even for me, yeah. I didn't come out. And there was still this little part of me that was like, do you even want to bring that up with mm-hmm. her? Like, yeah. are you sure? So I can only imagine how scary, terrifying cool. at 17, knowing that you have a global platform yeah. and that this could cost you your multi-million dollar yeah. job. That's that is a lot of pressure. Whoa. A lot of pressure. It's too much for me, ma'am. It is. I would not be able I to mean, handle that kind of <laughs> terror. I mean, I was nervous to come out too, and I have. I mean, hell, you were nervous to come yeah. out with me because yeah. you, because I'm so ambivalent yeah. towards whatever well, the hell I am that you didn't even realize I was part of the community too, and you're like, yeah. oh my god, my my straight friend is gonna judge me. Meanwhile, I'm sitting over here biased, confused, and I'm like, oh hey, you too, cool. What are Woo. you? <laughs> Good job. <laughs> we're proud of you. Woo. <laughs> I mean, I don't know how you didn't know. I've known since you were like I, eight, I know. but whatever. Did you ever get the inclination that JoJo was LGBT? Um, good question. When I really look back at it, I feel like there are a couple of signs, maybe. Yeah. Just some of the ways that she would talk and interact with other girls. Yeah. Does that sound strange? <laughs> I hate to say it, but in my humble opinion, I think JoJo acts like a mask lesbian. Yeah, so. as, we, as weird as she's into, like, the glitter and yeah. everything, there, I hate to say it, but there were several scenes on Dance Moms where you could tell that the producers were basically yeah. forcing the girls to talk to each other, and they were yeah. like, we need to record this for content so yeah. that it doesn't look like we're driving you children too hard, even though that's exactly what we're doing. Yeah. Um, just watching her interact with people in the dancer's den yeah. and the way she would sometimes look at some of the other girls. Mm. I'm not accusing her of anything. Don't take that out of context, please, anybody. Um, but just the way she would look and interact with mm-hmm. some of them where it became very clear to me that she didn't just see them in like a, oh, there's another girl sort yeah. of way. It, it was a little bit more, oh, God, I don't even know what to call it. Just more open? Mm-hmm. Does that make Like her yeah. speech patterns were more yeah. open. Her face was more yeah. open. yeah. I, I don't know, maybe if other people out there in the community know what I, I'm talking about. I, like, do you know that sense when you're looking at somebody and you're not sure if they're gay or not and you can almost kind of see feel it. on their face? Yeah. Where, like, it's like your little spidey sense is yeah. tingling and you're kind of like, oh, hey, is mm. that is that One gay that us. I smell over there? One of us. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of what it feels like, though. Where it's just like, I think there's something there. I don't want to say anything, but I think there's something over there. I feel like I didn't really start to notice until she did move into like more of the Nickelodeon side when she left Dance Moms because then it was kind of like I don't know I could, I felt like I just looked at her and knew do, yeah do you know what I mean like it's hard to put your finger on when exactly it happened all we know is that it's happened yeah and it's just like <laughs> yes yeah I don't know yes. how to describe it but I feel like Jojo even when she wears like the the dazzled pink glittery dress with the she, bow. She still looks really masculine to me. In some ways, I would very you know? much agree. If I said she almost gives off like, as she's gotten older, um, she almost gives off this weird, like, yeah, oh god, how do I explain this? It kind of feels like you know how some drag queens like Milk, for example, yeah. is super hyper masculine, yeah. but wears all these yeah, girly. This glitter and yeah. girly stuff. Like that's kind of the vibe I get. I, so- I am not saying that JoJo Siwa looks like Milk the drag queen. It's- that is not what I'm saying. But it's the like it's almost the same sort of yeah. vibe where it feels like a little more masculine. Mm-hmm. But like all of these bows and glitter and sparkles on top it, of that. Yeah, it's just so weird for me to, because you see the outward presentation of like super duper girly, but there's still like the. 
Especially with the bubbly personality, yeah. the very loud personality, the bleach blonde yeah. hair, the super high yeah. ponytails and everything else. Like, I think that, you know, she very much presents as what we would say is hyper femme. Yeah. And yet there's almost but this, it's this weird sense of, like, yeah. she's not actually that, like... Maybe when she was younger, she was into yeah. all of this stuff, and that was maybe part of her contract with yeah. Nickelodeon yeah. moving forward, but that she herself and her style has changed yeah. underneath the surface where no one else gets yeah. to see it. Yeah. So that's just kind of the vibe I got. Yeah. Maybe we should take a break so that you can think about our Lord and Savior, Jojo Siwa. Ah. Uh, nah. <laughs> Welcome back to Gay by Gay. We're singing again. Yeah. Yeah. You mm. good? I'm always good. I'm great. I'm Gucci. Never say that again. No? No. Why not? Aren't I cool? No. You are the opposite of cool, my dude. Are you kidding? I think, okay, I say this in the nicest way possible. I am not cool. Mm-hmm. You are less cool than I am. But that means I'm more lovable. No. <laughs> no, that is not an equivalent exchange on equivalent exchange no it's not <laughs> why, I feel, why are you looking at i don't me know like my brain just like disconnected from all words in humanity know, for like a you second. like you looked at me and your eyes like glazed yeah. over <laughs> and i just saw like i saw into your mindscape for a minute and yeah. it was like nothing but whiteness surrounding me and like i think i saw a tumbleweed go by a tumbleweed. <laughs> like, there was nothing it was the void you're just like in the clouds and then a tumbleweed just like blows past you that's exactly what happened yeah. and i was just like oh it's empty in here it's kind of echoey <laughs> i want to back out i want to go back to my own back out i want to go back to my own hellscape Anyways, it's darker in there i'm not cool but you know what is coming out as gay yes but also jojo siwa's girlfriend Okay, so I literally, as I mentioned before, <laughs> do not follow JoJo on any form mm-hmm. of social media. I had no idea she had a girlfriend. Yeah, I know. I did because it was breaking news. Well, aren't you special? Well, I mean, it wasn't that much of a surprise. I mean, JoJo just comes out as as not straight, and now there's suddenly a girlfriend. I was like, oh, I'm, yeah. I'm not surprised yeah. to some extent. I'll yeah. bet you that that was in the works for quite oh, a while. Probably. and. I think JoJo probably got to the point where it was like, if I'm ever actually going to be in a relationship mm-hmm. with someone that I think I have feelings for, I have to say yeah. something. Yeah. So it kind of makes sense to me. I don't think it was, oh, she comes out and then she immediately yeah, gets, gets a girlfriend. A girlfriend. I think They've it's been more, together for a while, probably. I think it's more she's been developing yeah. this relationship with yeah. her current girlfriend this entire time yeah. and just suddenly decided, fuck it, let's, yeah. like, everyone can know now. Yeah. It's time. I mean, I do feel kind of bad, though, because relationships at 17, they're really, really great. But they don't always last. So I know that I know that JoJo's really excited and she's coming out in interviews being like, This girl's the best girl ever. I love her so much. And I'm just like waiting. I'm like, oh no. Oh no. So on that topic, I have three things to say. Number one, cannot relate, never actually yeah. been in a relationship yeah. before. And yeah, that's really sad. Yes, I am twenty four. And yes, it is true. I've never sad. been in a relationship. Shut up. Don't don't at me. You don't need a relationship to be happy. No, I don't. You're right. I should more self validation. Anyways, um, second thing I would like to say is you're dumb. Uh, yeah, I know. And the only reason I'm going to say that is because you're going, you know, I know she's young and, you know, relationships at 17 yeah. never last. Yeah. And I'm just looking at you remembering the way you used to be with your ex-boyfriend. Yeah, that's what I'm, I'm saying, like, though. Ugh. That's what I'm saying, though. It's just, do you know how long I spent trying I to convince you of I that know. and how long you've ignored I, me? I know, I know. And on top of that, uh, the third thing I would like to say is that you're sitting there going, oh, you know, she's like, oh, this girl's the best girl yeah. in the world. My dude. You fell in love with the first woman you ever talked to after coming out as gay. Listen. Shut up. I know. I know these things. And I'm not saying that her and her girlfriend aren't going to last. Hell, they could go on and get married and live together until they're 75. I mean, you and your, you and your girlfriend yeah, decided to get a U-Haul after two days, right? Yeah, you're right. We said we I loved mean, each other on the first night. I, I was going to say, I talking with you, mm-hmm. Charlie and I, I mm-hmm. remember the first time you mentioned, oh, yeah, I'm talking to this girl. Um... I think that was literally, what, a day or two after you'd started talking yeah. to her, and Charlie and I both immediately said, oh, is she your girlfriend? You spent maybe three days yeah. going, she's not my, my girlfriend. girlfriend, and then uh, the next thing we knew, 
she was my so girlfriend. She's my girlfriend yeah. now. And Charlie and I just kind of looked at each other like, the doy. I asked her to be my girlfriend. We got promise rings. <laughs> like immediately. Like you. Still, that was before. Yeah. I, still I was it. gonna say you still you play with it all the oh, time. Yeah, like I like it. there is no time that you ever leave your ring anywhere. Like no. it doesn't really come off no. unless you're Playing fiddling with, with it. it. <laughs> but yeah, like immediately you were ready to marry yeah. your girlfriend. Yeah. So, um, looking that, at you. No, no, <laughs> Kiki. My, my, um, what's it called, analysis of this isn't in that perspective. It's more of the, the, um, out into the media type thing, where if it's out there, it's out there, you know? I think on top of that, um, the one thing I do have a lot of sympathy for, number one, I feel like it is already hard enough at that age, Mm -hmm. not that I have any experience with relationships, but I feel like it's already hard enough at that age to be in any sort of relationship I feel like there is always like this we're in love no we're not yes we are no we're not that whole puppy love thing and you're trying to figure yourself out and you're trying to figure uh each other out like it's so much to do that in the public eye yeah I mean no matter what that's a lot of stress on Jojo not knowing how she was going to be received and everything else um I also think it's a lot of stress for this other girl because all of a sudden now you're dating a famous person yeah that is so insanely yeah. crazy to yeah. me. It was like, a lot of pressure. That would be so yeah. stressful because you go from just being, you know, just kind of Joe Average mm-hmm. to all of a sudden, oh, you're so-and-so's girlfriend. Oh, my God. And then, like, you realize that you have almost, like, fame by proxy. Yeah. That's kind of scary yeah. to me because that's not something you've ever prepared for. You yeah. have, like. Well, I mean, I would hope that as a couple they talked about it beforehand. I mean, I'm Obviously, sure they did. They probably did. I'm sure yeah. they did. Yeah. But, um, yeah, it's just the thing of, like, ooh, if it ends up going downhill, then the media is going to have to know because there are, it's already so much out there. Well, I feel it's like that with any famous yeah, relationship. I, so. I mean, it's called the paparazzi, yeah. right, for yeah. God's sakes. Um, I, I definitely feel bad because that, I mean, as I said, your first relationship yeah. is already going to be hard. Your first gay relationship <laughs> is going to be hard. And now your first gay relationship um, on, like, a literal global yeah. scale. That is so much pressure. pressure. Like, there are adults that find it yeah. hard to handle the tabloids and yeah. everything else. So I can only imagine this journey mm-hmm. that they're about to go yeah. on together. But I think this I think this is a big deal, honestly, for the community. Because this oh, is, is so... A young person felt safe enough to come out and... From my knowledge, I haven't seen too much. The one comment I saw that was kind of negative was more like a, oh, my children is never, my child is never going to watch you again. I'm never going to buy your merch again. And I think there, there was this one little um, funny thing that's now kind of a meme where there was that comment and then Jojo comments, okay, with an exclamation point. And I'm like, that's how I would want to respond to any type of homophobia well, in my life. I mean, I think that's how you have to respond because you don't feed the beast, yeah. right? It's like, okay. You're just like, fine. oh, you don't want to buy my stuff? That's okay. okay. I'm still a multimillionaire. Shut up. Your opinion doesn't matter. Well, there's also that, um, the myth that somehow being LGBT is not family friendly, which is not I, true. I, I was going to say, um, looking at it from that perspective, I think this is absolutely huge for the community because this isn't just oh my God, you know, um, that's a drag queen and they're going to influence the children. This is literally a child influencer because when you take a look at JoJo's actual job, that's what she is. She is there for children's entertainment. And now she has come out as being gay. Mm -hmm. I think that is so huge where it is now, it's not just, we can all acknowledge that Ellen DeGeneres is gay and most people are okay with that. But now this is a direct influencer for children coming out. And overall, the response has been very yeah. positive. Yeah. Where a lot, like, yes, there have been those comments yeah. of, oh, I'm never buying your yeah. merch again. How could you do this? Like, my children are never going to watch you. You're yeah. blah, blah, blah. Like, yes, there is some of that. But overall, I don't think she has not been publicly lashed. Like, no, she has not, not been dragged. She has not been yeah. canceled or any of those other disgusting woke terms that I yeah. hate so much. Um but overall, it's been very positive where a lot of people have been more good for you. Yeah. Congratulations yeah. on coming out. We all support you. Like, I think, I think that's so big where people aren't afraid of their yeah. kids seeing gayness anymore. I, I hate to say that, but you know what I, I mean. I'm thankful because I feel like the majority of res- res- the response from parents is mostly like, why do I care? You're singing songs about candy shops for my kid. Who cares who you like? 
right? But that, that's so big, though, because yeah. when you think about it, the traditional reaction would have been, <laughs> oh, my God, this is terrible. This yeah. is a sin. Shield this is their eyes. Literally, like, you're going to corrupt my but, baby. But n- that's the thing, though. Nothing has changed. And I love it. Yeah, me too. I think, I think it's, it's great. I think it's such... I think it's a good marker for how far the community yeah. has come. And yes, there are still things in the community that we need to advocate for yeah. and we need to argue for. Yeah. But you know when people say, "Oh, nothing has changed in the last 100 years." Yeah. I would love That's to not true. I would love to show this as proof positive yeah. that it may be slow, but we are progressing yeah. in the right direction to the point, you know, as much as you can say, "Yes, there's still yeah. a lot of stigma and yes, there is still a lot of kind of negativity in mm-hmm. some ways and discrimination in some ways but you can't look at me and say with something like this if there was real discrimination yeah. against everything by the one united system yeah there's no way this ever would have happened yeah. no I way think. i think this is great because nickelodeon didn't cancel her no i think if this was oppression from the system i think nickelodeon the second she did anything yeah. would have been booting oh, her out yeah. the door and being like no sorry uh, we are no longer yeah. affiliated now a big company is saying we are accepting as yeah. well. We are accepting of continuing to produce your stuff yeah. to sell to of the course. masses. I think that's a huge yeah. step when corporations can say, yes, we are good with this. We yeah. are fine with this. Yeah. I, think I think it's, it's huge. Awesome. Yeah. I think it's huge. I think that it's a good step, a big step. It is. One small step for man, one giant leap for gay kind. I knew you were going <laughs> to say that, and I appreciate you for it because I thought the same thing. Yay. <laughs> but that's it for this episode. Yeah. Thank you so much for listening. Yes, let us know what you think about JoJo Siwa. Please. I'm still singing. You are. I'm still singing. Unfortunate. Okay. Those poor unfortunate soul. Exactly. Ariel. And the unfortunate soul is me. Shut up. That's <laughs> Ursula's song. I know, dumb. but you're ginger. Shut up. <laughs> Okay, see you later, guys. Take it gay by gay. Bye.